Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Piggy tutorial. This time round we're making chapter 4, Forest, and I did absolutely not mean to destroy that. We're off to a brilliant start. Anyways, as I was saying, this tutorial is for chapter 4 of the game, Forest. Now this is an a this was an absolute nightmare to make. Like th it might only be one floor high because it's a forest, but there's so much space on the floor that and most of the time I just had to like specifically place trees in certain locations. There's a lot of detail in this map and I'm hoping that I can make a tutorial that I'll be able to properly show you guys how to make this map. But it's pretty difficult to do. Because of how big this space is. And how different it is from every other map in the game. Also, I'm also I'm gonna say right now, like I have with at the start of the past few videos, like why the hell is my channel growing so fast now? Like, the first Piggy tutorial, I'm pretty sure that's hit 20k views now. And I, I'm, I'm completely in awe at this because I have never received any sort of... I've never received this much attention from anything in the past up until now. And I just want to thank you guys for doing this. Because this is my main drive to get these tutorials out for you. This is like... This is the highest demand thing I've ever made. So that's why I decided that I, I was going to actually make this tutorial. Because if you guys' demand for this wasn't so high, I just think that you it wasn't really something that had to be done. Because let me tell you, making this was a nightmare. But regardless, it's done now and... Hopefully with this tutorial you guys will be able to have your own forest in your world. So with all of that intro stuff out of the way, let's get started. Alright, so to get started with this tutorial, and I know I've said this at the beginning of every tutorial except for the first one, but like, this, this map in particular is probably going to take up the largest amount of space on the ground out of any other map. So I really can't give exact proportions or you'll just be sat making a massive square in the ground. So just take a massive space. Now this is probably the most important out of any of the other maps to do this with. Just get an absolutely massive space for this forest. Because it's going to take up a lot of it. Probably. So to start, we're going to make a circle in the ground out of coarse dirt. Now, it kind of has to be coarse dirt. Because if it's normal dirt, it's just going to eventually grow back. And we don't want grass growing over this. Because it's supposed to mark out a path. Anyways, to start with this circle, we're going to make five blocks in the ground out of coarse dirt and then we're going to make two going diagonal and then another one diagonal and then extending that to the side by four so we have another five long space and this is going to go around the whole circle so two diagonals and then one two three four five diagonal from that and then finally this side two diagonals one two three four five so you'll end up with a circle in the ground looking like this. Once you've got that circle, take all of the dirt inside of it and just completely fill it in with coarse dirt. Here we go, just so that this circle is completely coarse dirt. And we're going to start this build by finding the exact center of this circle and placing a campfire there. So we're just going to count five blocks inwards, one, two, three, four, five, so that you could just see that the campfire is in the exact middle of this coarse dirt circle. Now coming two away from the campfire on either side, 
so one, two, there's going to be some tables, not tables, they're more like seats, but we're making them the exact same way as we make our tables around these parts. Three wide out of stairs and slabs, with a two block gap between it and the campfire, and the same on the other side, so one, two, and then table, or seat, or whatever, doesn't matter. Now on one of these tables, we're going to go ahead and place a lantern on uh, on the edge. And then on the opposite table, on the opposite edge, we're going to place an item frame on this side. This is optional, and we're going to put a glass bottle in it. See, this is to represent the empty bottle that's by this seat in the game. Like, you could just have it dropped on the ground, or you could have it in the item frame if you wanted to stay there permanently but if you don't if you don't want the glass bottle item frame there don't put it there it's it's that simple now next there are some uh, trees and this is going to be this and the walls are going to be the really difficult parts of this build because the trees are just all over the place and the walls are also just all over the place so i have to like pay real close attention to these screenshots that i have so that I know where to put the trees. By the looks of things, the first tree is going three blocks away from the campfire on this side. So one, two, three. And then there's a three block gap between this and that. The trees, by the way, are made out of oak log. And for now, I'm just going to be placing a single stump of oak. Because by the end of the build we'll bring the trees all up and sort them out for now all you need to worry about is where the trees are going i'm pretty sure there's like it's the exact same on this side so three blocks in between the campfire and these trees either side now come to this tree here and uh count three one two three this way and then go back to one two and then going back another, that's where this tree is going to go. Next, we're going to go to two of this tree we just placed and go to the right by two. And then back by another two, I'd say. One, two. And then going back again. That's where that tree is going. So if you guys can't see where I'm placing the trees, by all means, pause this a lot because... There's trees just everywhere, and it's going to get hard to tell where exactly they're going. There's a tree that's going to go one block to the left of this stump here, and one block behind this stump here. So, just there. And then off of that tree, I think there's one either three or two... I don't know, like I've said, it's really difficult to see. I've took so many screenshots of this place. Took or taken, I don't, it doesn't matter. But yeah, two blocks in between to the, so going off the left of this stump we just placed, gonna go two blocks and then a third and placing another stump just there. So those should be the trees on that side. Now, the trees on this side to start, we're going to go to this stump here and go one to the left for it facing the direction that I am. So just come to the very edge of this circle and then go backwards by four. So one, two, three, four. And you should be one block behind this seat and that's where that stump is going. Now there is another stump, another four blocks behind. And that's going to be coming one to the right of this from where I'm facing. So in line with this stump. And then coming off of the side of this one, we're going to count one, two, three, four, and place it. Just like that. And then there's another one going one, two, to one, two, three to this side, and then one behind. Like that. And that's all we're going to worry about for this on this side for now. There is an, another one five blocks behind this seat in line with this lantern. So one, two, three, four, five. 
Is that right? I don't think so. I think I'm missing some trees. Or I place this one too. No way. See, this is what I mean. This is gonna pers this is absolutely going to persist through the tutorial. Cause like it is really difficult to get this spot on. Yeah, we're actually gonna have to take these two and move them one further back from what I see. Just like I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time just staring at tree stumps. I took these screenshots specifically so I could see where the trees and the walls are going and I still can't see exactly where they're going. Did I count four back? No. No, I didn't. One, two, three, four. We need to move this one back as well. And that means we're moving these two backwards by another one. And then this should look about right. Uh, I'm still not sure if it does. Oh my god, this is this is agonizing. I hope you guys aren't finding this like incredibly difficult to put up with because I'm struggling with these tree stumps. In fact, you know what, guys? If you're doing this and you don't care about being game accurate, just put the tree stumps wherever you like. Because I I seriously have no idea what, what we're doing with all of this stuff. And I don't even know where to start with the walls. This, this map is just everywhere. Okay, we're gonna start with this wall here, guys. M moving away from the trees for a second just so that I can get a break. So coming to this edge of this seat with a lantern, we're gonna go backwards by, okay, actually to make this easier, we're gonna go, so there's two grass blocks and then the wall is there. So, so then the tree should go here. And the walls for this place are just gonna go two up with dirt and then grass on the third layer, just like that. So just, just at this edge of the seat, going one, two, three, four back. So there's two coaster and then two grass and then the wall behind that seat. And we're gonna take that, we're gonna extend it by a further, I don't even know. It's difficult to count blocks when they don't have like clear separators like polished diorite does. So like these walls probably aren't going to be exactly like I made them the first time around. I'd say we're going to have to we're going to take these another 5 to this side. So 1 2 3 4 5 just to be safe. And then we're going to go diagonally towards this circle by one and then we're gonna do that again and build those up then we're gonna go diagonal again so that we're just behind this stump here and then we're gonna go diagonal again like that and then guess what we're going diagonal again so just Go five blocks like this behind this stump. So overall this side here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, starting in line with this seat. And then you're gonna do five diagonals going that way. And that's that part of the wall done. Next we're gonna uh, start with this path. So we're going to extend the Costa path along this way. And, uh, oh my god, what has happened to the path in the screenshot? You know, this is really freaking difficult. Like, out of all the tutorials I've made, this is by far 
the most difficult thing I've ever had to try and do. We're going to take these four blocks here on this edge, leaving this one. And we're going to extend those. Now, as for what's going on on this side in my screenshot, I have no idea. There's an extra block here for some reason. And that really threw me off, that one block. So, don't extend that by much. Just mark out that this is going to be where the path heading this way is going. Just so that we know wh where in relation to that the next walls are going to go. Okay, so now we're on this side. No, we're not. Now we're on... Are we? No, we are on this side. We're on this side. God, so... We're going to now go in line with this part of this seat. And we're going to place a wall basically the exact same way. So four blocks apart from uh, these. Then we're going to count five. Pretty sure that's five. Going to the right. So the wall will be looking like this. And then we're going to place a tree here. Yeah, there. So in the middle of this wall that we just made, tree. And now come the diagonals on this part of the wall. We're going to go one, and then two, and then three, four. I'm pretty sure there's four more, so that'll make six diagonals. Three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go the diagonal that way. And then once we've done that, we're gonna be sure this is where this part of the wall just extends all the way. So just extend it this way. Extend it going that way by a little bit. And we'll come back to that later because this is the main part that we're focusing on right now. This this is where we're going to go starting the tutorial off. And this space is in between this wall and the next uh, is six blocks wide. First of all, there's a tree here. So go to, go to the wall we just made and count one, two, then go forward and place a tree just like that. And we're going to do something similar, but first let's place the f start part of the wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six block gap in between this wall and this wall that's going to come in. And on this wall, we're going to count two inwards and then go one backward and place a tree stone. Now, this pathway here is going to go five blocks backwards from what my notes here say. So, pretty sure by that we need to extend this back by four. So one, two, not out of cost dirt. One, two, three, four. Just like that. So we're making it go backwards this way by five. So yeah, extend both of these walls backwards that way by an extra four. And then there's a, once we've done that, there's just one more tree we need to place in this general area. And that's coming off of this right wall. We're going to count one, two, and then go backwards and place it. Just like that. Next thing we're going to do is uh, grab some gravel because this part, this part of the pathway becomes gravel. And there's no cause dirt path connecting this through here. So just leave all of the ground here grass. But yeah, from this tree, we're going to count an extra one block behind it. And then we're going to start our gravel circle. One, two, three, four. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be another one behind this tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every single circle that we make on the ground is going to be the same. So five blocks along, one, two diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, 
One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Not six, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. And then we're gonna fill all of this in the center of that in with gravel. Then we're gonna focus on the details that are gonna go in this area once I've filled in this circle. There we go, this gravel circle is completely filled in. Oh, and by the way, make sure if you want to build it exactly like like mine was, uh, that this part uh, here in the wall doesn't... Okay, I'll try to explain this better. So the gravel circle is one, two, three, four, five coming off of this wall rather than coming off of this wall. Anyways, now we're going to take this back wall and go one diagonal and I would be able to see what's going on here but the trees in the way on the screenshot so one diagonal two diagonal three diagonal so it's gonna be three diagonals going backwards like that and then we're gonna go a fourth diagonal and that's gonna be the back wall of this area just going in like this so just fill just fill that in up until like round about here for now and then once we've placed in the uh oh wait no 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 i can teach you how to do the rest of it now because i have the proper screenshot screenshots to do so um i think i think this is right yeah this is right on that side i just need to see on this side like where exactly this back wall ends which is difficult to see from behind the generator that's gonna go here but yeah extend an extra one so you're you're here in line on this back wall in line here and then we're gonna start going diagonal forwards one two three like that at the same time of doing this I'm trying to balance the iPad that I'm using to look at the screenshots on my knees because there's nowhere on my desk for it to go. Um, yeah, and then we're going to go a fourth diagonal and this is going to be our side wall for this area. And that's going to go along up until here. The walls are a lot easier in this part, guys. So just... Yeah, just like that here. It's basically bordering this whole gravel circle. But then we're going to go two diagonals like that. And this second diagonal is going to go back by some. But we'll extend further upon that later. For now, we're going to build a little bit more of this wall here. So I'm pretty sure I've got the screenshot looking at it, yeah. So we're going to go one diagonal and another diagonal and then this wall is going to go backwards some and we'll focus on that later because that's leaving this general area and we we have work to do here before we can leave this general area so the first thing we're going to do here i th i feel should be the generator which is the most important part of this place i feel I, I've completely forgot how I balanced my iPad in all these other tutorials. I'm struggling to actually balance it in this one without getting into some incredibly weird sitting pose. Anyways, throw away the coarse dirt for now and keep the gravel because most of the paths around here are going to be gravel rather than coarse dirt. Uh, we're going to want to get out for this generator some lime terracotta, some smooth stone here and some smooth stone slabs just like this and the generator is going so from this campfire area we're going to walk through here and on this wall is where the generator is going now to start with this generator we're gonna let me just get the basics down here it's not going there no, it, I'm going to need to move it further forward, further, further forward one. Yeah, so it's going to go, I'd say, yeah, this is where, this is where it's going. So as you, as you can see what I did, um, basically in the center of this back wall, in the center four blocks of this back wall, we're going to place four lime terracottas. So there's one, two, one, two, either side like that. 
And then we're gonna go diagonal and make another two. Diagonal and another two on the other side and then connect them like that. So you should have lime terracotta looking like this on this back wall here. Then we're gonna go on top of that with smooth stone. And we're also gonna, on top of that, cap it off with smooth stone so it looks like this. And we're gonna take our smooth stone slabs and place them all on top of, of on the third layer, like that. And that's the basis of this generator made. Now there's some additional detail you could do. And again, replicating small pieces of technology and wiring in Minecraft is one of my weak points when it comes to builds. But basically what I did is grabbed a birch sign, item frame, polished blackstone button, Stone button will do if you don't have black stone, by the way. Uh, I've been noticing, I get lots of comments about people on Bedrock version that don't have 1.16. Which is perfectly understandable, like, the update isn't even out yet. It's just like, the 1.16 blocks make these builds a lot easier, and they're really good to have. But if you don't have them, for this build, like, you don't need them whatsoever. They just, like, make it look a little bit better. So you could use a stone button. Anyways, I, I placed a birch sign here on this block. A polished black stone button here. And here's another problem bedrock users will have. What I did here was place an item frame and a lever on the same block. Now, if, you're, if you use bedrock often, you might know you can't do this in bedrock because item frames aren't counted as entities like they are in Java. So, but that doesn't matter, you can like place an item in the item frame. It doesn't have to be a lever, in fact it's not even a lever in game. I just I just thought that the lever would look nice like that. I'd recommend having like a button there or something rather than the lever if you want it to be more game accurate. I literally only put the lever there because I thought it would look nice. Anyways, going around this generator is a fence. So we're going to take dark oak fence, go a one block gap on this side between the generator and the dark oak fence, and then start placing it. And there's also, uh, extend it, yeah, make it five blocks wide, and then start extending it to the other side of the wall, just like this. And in line with where I have this polished blackstone button, we're going to destroy that and replace it with a fence gate. And that's the generator part of this place done. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is grab some diorite walls and polished diorite slabs. No, not polished diorite, normal diorite so that it's the same texture as the walls. Normal diorite slab, just like that. And this is what we're gonna be making our lanterns out of. And trust me, there are a lot of lanterns in this build lamps, just lamp posts all around the forest. And the first one is going from this tree stump, like the one closest to the generator. Go forward one and then across by across to the right by three. So one, two, three, and the lamp post will go here in line with this edge of the gravel circle on the floor. Now to make the lamp post, we're gonna go four blocks up with diorite wall. One, two, three, four. And we're going to place diorite slab on top, and then extending one off. In this case, the diorite slab will extend towards this wall, so towards where the sun is for me. And then we're going to place a lantern coming off, just like that. And that is what every single lamppost in this build will look like. There are some different uh, lampposts lamp around, but there's very few of them, and they're easier to make as well. Now, there's another lamppost, like, basically right by this area. And that is by a tree that's going here. And the tree will go, I'd say here, so, yeah. So, basically, come to this side of the gravel circle, go to the very corner here, and then go diagonal, and that's where that's going. And then, right off of that tree, is gonna go our lamppost 
in this case it'll be facing towards this part so the rest of the build and that leaves these four gravel blocks here and we're actually going to be extending those four just like this because this is where the walkway to the next area we're going to build is going uh, hold on hold on now don't extend the four blocks extend the three middle ones because for whatever reason I made this part this pathway three blocks wide and basically most of the others are four blocks but this one's three blocks wide so just like that now I'm gonna try and make more of the wall and then we'll focus on this place a little bit more now looking here there one two three four I'm pretty sure this wall goes back by four so just gonna extend another two like that so as you can see this wall is now going four blocks backwards and then we're gonna extend it diagonal like that another one extend it back by two so this part is three blocks long and then it's gonna go diagonal back there and then again and it's gonna go another one backwards I'm just doing this now because I have a full I have a full view on what this part of the wall here looks like in this screenshot so I'm extending all of that now so once we have it like that we're basically going to connect this side to that side by going another one diagonal and then extending that this way by I believe another two to make that three blocks then we're gonna go diagonal two blocks like that then we're gonna go one diagonal and we're gonna go diagonal connected to this so you should have something that looks like this pause this and get a good look if you don't and just kind of like mimic what I've done to connect this wall and what you could do here is uh, fill this whole area at the top here with grass in game I'm pretty sure these wall areas have trees on them but I'll cover what to do with the rest of the build once I'm finished with the main part which is the actual playable space but yeah that's this wall nice and easy we don't have to worry about anything to do with this wall ever again because we've just gone and done all of it at once there but we do still have to worry about this part of the wall because it's not finished so I'm pretty sure we're only extending this another one so where we left off is gonna be three blocks long then we're gonna go diagonal towards the gravel path and make that two blocks long diagonal again two blocks long so same thing we just did and then one diagonal and then it's gonna go diagonal backwards and then back another two so three blocks going back like that and we'll stop there for now because that's starting to lead into the next area and as for this whole gravel path this part is gonna go um, 10 blocks backwards I think yeah 10 blocks backwards it says here so that counts these first two so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and I have the screenshots right here to see if this is wrong but yeah just destroy this whole thing going backwards by ten and that's gonna put us in line to make our next gravel circle well it should one two three yeah it does it does so I've done it right and on this final tenth block either side there's gonna be two lamp posts so as we do going four up with diorite walls diorite slabs uh, the slabs gonna extend towards e facing each other for these two just like that most of the lamp posts that we place are gonna be facing like this uh, so yeah those are those are our lamp posts and there's one more thing going down this pathway that we have to make and that is a 
strangely massive stump just lying on the ground for some reason. Like some really big log fell or something. And we're going to start that with its back part. So come to this one diagonal here, pretty easy to spot out. And we're going to start by placing that part of the dark oak stump. Make it out of dark oak wood because you can't actually see the inside of the log in game. And we're going to make a 2x2 two two on this part of the gravel pathway. Just like this. And we're going to bring that up by another one. Just make sure that the sides are going sideways, which means don't place it like this, place it going off a block like that. Then we're going to take these two and extend them forward, leave leave this one here, leave that. And as, beside those two we're going to go another two. So we've got a 2x2 two two of dark oak here and a 2x2 two two of dark oak there basically, and that's how I represented that log. Now we can actually begin on this part here, and first thing we're going to do is the first thing that we usually do, and that is making the gravel path, gravel circle. So one, two, three, just like that, and then extend a further one either side, and that's your first five. So then you know the drill, one, two, diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one. Two, and fill in all of this just with gravel. Whoopsie daisy geyser. I have filled in this circle and I've not made a mistake. Don't worry, you don't have to destroy anything. I just forgot something. And that is there's a tree going off of this wall just by these three here. Go diagonal this way and there's a tree there. Also go to the center and extend up here. I couldn't see for the tree that's meant to go here. But there is just a one here, just like that. So your actual full wall should be looking like this. Anyways, now that now that we place that, we can uh, continue doing this part of this wall here. Now that we've built this area out a bit, so basically from where we left off, we're gonna do one, two, six diagonals going this way. So one, two, three, four five and six just going along like that and placing grass on top of them all just like this and then from this sixth one we're gonna go back by one just like that back a uh, backwards diagonal so that it's in line with the one before it and we're just gonna this is this is going out of the bounds of the map because this is where the exit to the map is going. So extend this wall backwards as far as you want. As big as you are going to make your exit to the forest, just extend it backwards by that amount. And we'll do the other side later. For now, we have a, a lot of detail to be adding here. <clears throat> Mainly... The uh, massive watchtower that goes in this part of the map. But before we do that, we're going to place easily a tree just from this lamppost. Counting one, two, and then there's a tree just there. There's another tree, and it's doing the same thing to this lamppost on this side. So a tree there behind either lamppost, just like that. Really simple stuff. And we'll worry about the rest of the trees once we're done with this massive watchtower. Which may take some time because, well, because it's big. So we're going to need a lot of jungle stuff for this watchtower. You can make it out of any wood you like. I chose jungle because it's kind of orangey in-game. And I wasn't the biggest fan of Acacia for this, so I chose to make it jungle. Basically, the point I'm saying here is just make it out of whatever wood you like. But we're going to start this, anyways, by, uh, hmm, let's see, where did I place these? Ah, yeah, here. So, you're going to place jungle planks here. 
so that there's a five block space in between them. See, one, two, three, four, five in between these two. So that means they're, got, they're being placed from this lamp post, basically. Count three backwards and then one to the left. And that's where that one's going. And for this one, three backwards, one to the right. The other two are going one, two, three, four, five, and then that. And then in this corner as well. And those are the corners of this watchtower. We're going to extend those up, but first we need to build the uh, staircases on this watchtower. First one is going in this corner here. So, and it's going to be, I think around, yeah, four stairs. So, stair one, stair two, stair three. You could place things under the stairs if you want. I didn't. Because like they're not actually stairs in game, they're wood they're full wooden planks. Anyways, yeah, four stairs like this, and then we're gonna place a slab and extend that. It would it would help to if you just like extended these upwards by a little bit. So extend these by uh, by either corner upwards just by just by a bit for now, just going a little bit higher than what we've just made. And then you can see we're extending these jungle slabs basically to the other corner. And underneath this middle one, we're going to place another block and put a lantern. If you don't like the fact that it randomly dips in the middle, you don't have to put the lanterns here. But they are there in the games. Anyways, now we're going to place another three stairs on this part. So one, and then I'm having difficulty placing the slabs. One two, and then three, so that we have a jungle slab going to go here, and we're going to extend that to the other corner just like that. Once again, the middle block here, going to put a slab under that and put a lantern there. And I'm pretty sure uh, this part of the staircase is the last bit. I just need a screenshot to make sure, kind of. Um, one, two, three. No, it's not the last bit, but we're almost there. So yeah, here we're gonna place another three stairs. One and two and three, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Just extend it. I'm gonna build these jungle planks higher up, so I can tell where we are in relation to the rest of the build. And then once again, we're just going to go to the bottom of this middle one, put a lantern like that. And then finally, we're going to extend upwards these final stairs by three. Just like all the others, except for the bottom one, which is four. So one, and then two, and then three, going in like that. And we're on, on the layer that we placed that last stair, that's in line with the flooring for the main part of this watchtower. And the floor is going to be made out of polished diorite slabs. So grab some polished diorite slabs and uh, basically take this whole area and go around it with polished diorite except for where the stairs are. So this let this part with the stairs leave that and place polished diorite everywhere else basically. So just like that. I'm pretty sure this is also the part where we place jungle planks going on the outside of this. So place jungle planks all around this layer like that. Then we can work on uh, the windows of this place, which will be made out of light blue stained glass. So take these jungle planks and go an extra layer of just jungle planks, like this. And then the windows either side are going to be the three blocks in the middle. 
So one, two, three, one, two, three. And there'll be two blocks either side of them just like that. So just make the space for the windows in the free center blocks on every side and place them in just like that. And then one more layer on top, just jungle planks like that going all the way around just like the first layer of this wall and once that's done we'll uh, work on what's inside of this watchtower and the first of these things is the yellow safe so we're going to grab polished andesite and a birch button and we're going to place that in the middle of this part so coming up from the stairs you're facing the safe, just like that. And then there's only one other thing in this place, and that is a... I'd like to say that that table is dark oak. No, I think it's spruce. Sometimes it's difficult to tell. I'm just gonna test real quick. Dark oak, spruce. I'm pretty sure it's just spruce. So we're gonna put a spruce table on this side once again free wide like most of the tables we make so you've got a safe there you've got a table there and then go to this corner here destroy that corner block because in the game that's a place you can drop down to kind of like get down a little faster now you can see when you go to look at the exterior we're almost done with this but we're missing the roof so we're going to make that now so take some jungle fence and dark prismarine stairs and slabs because the roof of this place is like and a, and another house later in the build like the roofing is green but there is literally no green slab in all of minecraft much to my surprise so we kind of have to make do with dark prismarine which is like the greenest thing we have anyways just on top of this safe, we're going to place three, ro three rows of jungle fence like this, going upwards with slabs on top and the same thing on the opposite side. And we're basically just going to then go down the roof with dark prismarine stairs either side of the jungle fences. Just like this. And this. So that's this side of the roof done, looking like this. And the other side is just the same. Dark prismarine stairs and dark prismarine stairs. So the jungle planks don't connect all the way up to the dark prismarine. There's actually a jungle fence holding up the roof. So once you're done with your watchtower, it should look like this. And now there's basically some more like details like trees and lampposts and the exit door which goes right there that we're now going to make in this area around the watchtower. And I'm pretty sure I've skipped every single screenshot that shown those. So let me just get them back real quick. Right, so this is the screenshot where I left off. Now to make this exit area, it's pretty simple. We're just going to grab stone for the path. Path to the exit. There's going to be five blocks of three wide stone. So here where I said the exit's going, you can tell because we did this wall of all the six diagonals. Place three blocks wide of stone. And then extend that backwards by another four. So one, two, three, four. Actually, extend it backwards. Extend the stone path backwards, basically as far back as you made this back wall go. And the exit door will be going. What well, basically this this point where it sticks out the most signifies where the exit door is gonna go. But for now, we're just gonna take all of this stone path and extend it back. And then we're going to place a lamp post that goes here. And it goes right by the start of this stone path on this side. 
And again, every lamppost is the same, four blocks up, polished iron slab, and then going inwards towards the stone, just like that. Now, next wall we're going to make is either the wall here or the wall there. Let me see which one it is I took a screenshot of first. Yeah, the one going here. So, this exit, this, this wall of the exit is actually pretty simple. We're going to come to basically here in line with the very end, wherever you made that. And then we're going to count off of this stone path this side, one, two blocks of grass. So there's a two block gap of grass between the stone and this wall. And it's basically going to extend straight the whole way through the exit. So this exit area of stone just has an entire straight grass wall. Like that. Until this first layer of stone, here it isn't straight anymore. It's going to go diagonal that way. And it's going to do that a few more times, but before we do that, we, we're going to place a tree just in just from here. So from where this part ends here, just go diagonal towards the stone, and that's where that tree's going. Now this tree is very much in the way of the screenshots I'm trying to take of this place. But I'm pretty sure it's just going to go diagonal a bunch this way from this point onwards. So that's, uh, I can't tell exactly how much because of the tree blocking the way, but I'm pretty sure I can tell from the gravel path here. Yeah, so, but now we're going to stop it here, we'll leave it there for now, and we're going to place a tree there. So stop. Stop the diagonals when you re reach in line with this watchtower, and then place the tree like that. Now this wall. This wall here is going to begin once we've... Well, we'll start by placing in uh, some spruce slabs that go here. Because in-game, this place is actually a spot you have to crouch through in order to get through. So we're going to start by placing one, two, coming off of this, the bottom of this top block, one, two. Uh, actually, go to the bottom of the middle block and just place four going along, one, two, three, four. And then place another two on top of those two like that, so that it's looking like this. And from what I see, this is in line with that. Uh, yeah. Then we're going to make three blocks like this, just like that. So once you have this looking like that, build three blocks coming off of it, that side. And then we're going to go inwards to this gravel block by one. And that's gonna extend. Um, I'll sh I'll show you guys how much is, it's gonna extend because it's it's difficult to count that. It's gonna extend not as much as I've just made it. Instead, we're gonna extend it just to here. So now that I can see, it's gonna specifically go one, two, three, four. Oh, that wasn't too difficult to count, was it? So yeah, one, two, three, and then go further towards a gravel circle, and then met four. Oh, and the tree's going here. So tree coming off of the first one of these four blocks, like that. Once we have made those four blocks, uh, it's gonna go, it's gonna go uh, further forward, but I don't think I screenshotted that just yet because that, that's just going to take us into the next area. So let me get more of my screenshots out here. Yeah, this is the point where we start building the next area. And 
there isn't really a gravel pathway here. It's more of just an open space. So I am actually going to need to see this wall and all its glory in order to see exactly what I'm doing here. I think I might be able to place the lampposts actually going off of these screenshots. Um, I think there's one there. Oh, no, one back, one more back. Yeah, one there and one there. So to go into more detail, we're gonna go by the side of this tree here and place one, and then behind this watchtower, gonna go one, two, three back, and there's gonna be a lamppost on the fourth one. In other words, just place a lamppost coming off of this side of that stump and then one, two, three, four space in between that and the next one. Now we're just going to extend those upwards like we do with every other lamppost, making them far high and then make the diorite slabs and make them face each other just like this. Now I can see a bit more of what we're doing. And first thing we're going to do is come up, go to this lamppost and go diagonal towards Diagonal towards the watchtower to the left from the way I'm looking at it. So we just go in there. And then come to this lamppost and count in with counter the left, two, one, two, then back one and place another tree stump. Now we can go another diagonal on this wall. I'm pretty sure it's gonna start going diagonal the other way behind that. But I can't see that right now. I'm pretty sure this part of this wall is going to go another diagonal of three blocks wide. And then we're going to go diagonal again. And then I'll see how far back that goes. As for now, there's another tree we could place. Uh, one, two behind that lamppost, I'm pretty sure. Just two blocks and then the tree. Uh, yeah, I can count how many diagonal, how many more diagonals we have to do on this side now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six again. So go diagonal backwards towards this way. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That creates like a V shape, kind of. And we could go diagonal once more, and this is going to be the back wall of this place. Just like that. Now, as for this side, it's still difficult for me to see exactly because of all the trees. But it's going to go pretty long. In fact, I think I, think I can see it now. If I place this tree correct, then I can see where it ends. So I come to this tree behind this lamppost. And then count five blocks behind it. One, two, three, four, five, and place the tree stump. And I'm pretty sure that tree stump marks the end of this wall. So bring the wall on this side, just like that, until the end of this tree stump. And then we're going to go diagonal like that. And that's where we're going to leave that for now. And I just have to, like, see more of this place. Uh, yeah. From this stump we just placed, go one, two forwards, and then one, two right. One, two, and place a tree stump. And then count three blocks to the right of that and place another one. So it'll be a two block space in between those two. And then from this tree stump... Ah, cool, I have placed this one. So this is where one of the like, more different lamps that I mentioned is going to go. So just grab some iron bars and 
place four blocks high, so one, two, three, four, and put a lantern on top. No idea why these are different, but they are. Um, I am, I almost forgot about this exit door, so just just let me get that back up, and we'll we'll work on the exit door now before I completely leave it out of the build. God damn it! Where did I screenshot the exit door? Here, here. It's pretty simple. We're just gonna need to take back those iron bars we just got rid of, and we're gonna place iron bars going free high against this wall, then we're going to leave the gap and then place more iron bars. We're going to put, we're going to then connect the top iron bars all the way along and we're going to leave the same gap on here as well. So we've got space for a door now and that door is going to be an iron door and it annoys me that this iron door isn't going to connect but like it's just not going to connect to these iron bars because they're iron bars. You could place blocks around the doorway if that like really annoys you. But like in game it's just a big chaining fence around this door. Now there's like a sig the thing here signifying three things you have to use the wrench on. And the only way I could really think of replicating that is by placing three item frames on these like that. And then putting something red in them or something. What I did in the screenshot was place redstone torches like this. But again, they're not torches in the actual game and you can't do that on bedrock. Just uh, do whatever you like with these and even leave them out if you want. Uh, one thing I will mention, somewhere around here, it doesn't really matter where, because it's the borders of the map, like in this exit area, there's going to go a lamppost. So just place a lamppost anywhere around this exit area, facing inward to the stone like that. Now that we've done that, we can get back on track with what we were just doing, which is this place. Now... I think these are almost all of the trees here, but I just need to tell exactly where the uh, gravel path is going. And I think I can now. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, one second. Yeah, like this. So, it's actually not going to be perfectly in line with this gravel path. It's going to be going one further back like this just like that and then you know same as in fact if that annoys you you could make it in in line with this gravel circle it it doesn't matter i just didn't because it probably isn't in the game i don't know one two three four five one two one two three four five one two one two three four five one two just like we've done with every single gravel circle up until this point and yet again, all we're going to do is fill in this entire gravel circle. And then I'll place the rest of the trees and the uh, destroyed house that's going to go here. Yay, another circle. Now, there's one more tree that I'm going to place for now before I properly get to work on the house. And it's going to go from this stump, the furthest to this wall. We're going to go one, two behind it. And then one two like that and then another one so the trees going around here just like that and that's the uh, last pretty sure that's the last tree that's going around there not the last tree that we'll be placing here and by far not the last tree that we'll be placing in the whole build I wish I could say that but this place is just littered with trees because it's a forest uh. So now for the house, we're going to um, one, two, three inwards there. So yeah, we could measure this in lots of ways, but basically put it in line with where we put this lamp and then three inwards to the gravel circle 
then on the fourth, fifth, and sixth block. Just like that, we're going to put the stairs. Next, we're going to put another layer of stairs going up above it like that. And if you want, you could put upside down stairs underneath those to make it look, I don't know, a little bit neater or something. And then behind that, we're going to place a row of five spruce planks. And we're going to place two on the bottom like that. Then we're going to take that backwards by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then connect it like that. And that's basically going to give us a five by five space of spruce to work with. And extend these corners to the bottom like that. Now, we're going to make the rest of this house out of oak wood, not log. So, take oak wood out. And then extend it so that it's facing like this on this side. On this side, it's facing like that. And on the back, it's all going to be facing like that. So, basically, to be specific... You, you can see with like you can see how the oak wood is going to be facing either side on on the sides it will be facing like sideways like that it'll be facing sideways going towards where the door would be on this side and it's gonna face the same as the front on the back but like I said like I pr like I briefly mentioned earlier this house is kind of like ruined and destroyed so we're only going to take these three on the back here upwards and then another one in this corner like that. That's as up as it's going to go because this house is destroyed. Next thing we're going to do is uh, well we can extend the rest of this back wall now I'm pretty sure and uh, that's going to go gonna go up to a certain point I'll be more specific once I figure out exactly where that is but um let me see one two I'm pretty sure yeah actually yes it is so it's gonna go like one away from the edge of this gravel circle like that and then we're gonna go forwards diagonally making a two block long area and there's probably a one block diagonal in that space but it's being covered by a tree so I can't exactly see now there's a three block long fallen log going off of the side of this house like that and then just in front of that a lamp post again for high facing away from the house like that now there's some purple, there's a purple rug on the floor here for some reason. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know why in the screenshot I didn't make this purple carpet. But make it out of purple carpet, just a 3 by 2 like that. So going diagonally from the lamp like this, just like that. Uh, in line with this lamp, actually, is where the aforementioned tree blocking my sight is going. So, in line with this lamp, one, two, three, four, that way, and the tree is going just there. Also in line with this back wall here, where we stopped it temporarily. Yeah, it's it's as I theorised was back here anyway, just another diagonal one. And then from that, we're going to go diagonal and go forwards by another. So like this in the corner. And then another one diagonal. And then that's going to go backwards by a lot. So I, And I can't precisely see that in the screenshot. So I'll try and uh, get a better look. I'm also trying to get a good look at this side here. But there is a tree blocking my vision here. So from this tree, there's going to go one, two, and then one, two, tree. So from this wall, just go diagonal like that, in other words. That's where that tree's going. I'm pretty sure from that point, 
we're just going to go one, two, three, and another diagonal backwards, like this. Mm, I think that's right. If this gravel path, yeah, yeah, that's right. And that's also the edge of that wall. So we can leave that wall, that wall for now. Uh, as for this wall, this is where it gets a bit difficult because the gravel pathway we're about to be making is like in a different position to the other ones we've made. It's not in the center of the circle. Instead, it's at the side and it's kind of distorting the circle a little bit. I'm going to try placing the lamppost. In fact, I'll get started on the path. No, no, I shouldn't do that. That'll make making the rest of the path confusing with the proportions. I'm debating with myself currently right now what to do. Uh, I think I've gone too far forward. Yeah. Okay, hold up, guys. I'm going to see what to do here, because like, this wall goes too far along for me to be able to precisely measure, and I don't know when to stop either because of the way that this gravel path is working. Okay, let me try and make this easier for myself, and placing the lamp posts. So the first lamp post, one, two, three, four, it's just going to go from this stump in the corner, one, two, three blocks, and then the lamppost. And there's going to be a four block gap between that and the next lamppost, which one, two, three, four is going here. And then they're just facing each other. Okay, one of these are too high. One, two, three, it's this one. They're just going to be facing each other like that. So as you can see, in between those lamp lampposts is where the gravel path is going to go. And as you can see, we kind of have to like connect it like that. And that's throwing off my vision a little. So I'll try and like... Okay, one thing I one thing I can show you is that there's a tree going diagonally off of this lamppost like that. And then from that tree there is a part of the wall going diagonally off of it like that. And then that's gonna go diagonally this way. I'll show I'll try to show you guys a little bit more. But I am really confused. Because I can't see whatsoever what this wall looks like. There's another tree going somewhere as well. And I can't exactly tell where. Um, pretty sure the wall just goes like this. So yeah, go diagonal like this. Okay, back to the tutorial, now that I've got that out of the way. Uh, we're going to go another diagonal from this wall. Uh, so from this wall, we're going to go another diagonal, just like that. And we're going to take it along. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll, sh I'll show you guys what I just did. We're going to go diagonal like this. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this wall is seven long. So go go diagonal and extend it that way by six. And then go inwards diagonally. Inwards diagonally again. And then take that back one so it's too long. And then inwards diagonally again. And the tree, by the way, is just going here. In that in in the little bit corner there so that sorted that confusion with the wall um, now we're gonna go diagonally again so that we're in line with this tree 
And then we're going to go uh, one, two, three, four back. So that's five blocks long, this wall. Then we're going to place some wood because there are some logs leaning against this wall. First one is going, so go to this start of the wall, go one inwards like that. In the middle, and we're going to place a log, and we're going to place another log, and then we go diagonal to the ground and place a log, so it's looking like that. And then next to that log, we're going to place another log, and then we're going to go behind that and go diagonal up two, so it's looking like that. And then another diagonal towards the wall like that. And that's the, those logs. Now, we can get started on the rest of the path for, the, path for this area. Um, it's 11 blocks, which I'm pretty sure is counting from these lampposts. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're going to take these four. So, this whole space now is going to be gravel. So, yeah, go, counting from these lampposts, go 11 backwards with gravel. And you're going to make a pathway just like that. And the wall on that other side, by the way. Um, it's gonna go. Pretty sure it ends at the same place, unless these lamp posts are not in line. Okay, for now, for now, we'll change this later. Just take this wall, bring it backwards until it lines up with the wall there, and then. Um, I should also show you where the circle's going. Yeah, should, um, the circle will be going like this. So one, two, three, four, five. So the circle, the circle's fifth block is going off of the path, facing that way. If that makes sense, because this path is four blocks wide, so it won't be perfectly in the center of the circle. So this is the start of the circle. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, like we have with every single circle. And once again, this is getting redundant. And Lord knows I'm going to say it more because there are more gravel circles to do. Once you've made this circle, just fill in this whole space with gravel. And then we'll get a look on what happen, what's going to happen with the walls here. Alright. Yeah. Full gravel circle. And uh, I was correct. The lampposts here, for whatever reason, aren't in line. So I'm pretty sure this back wall is going to go one further back behind from this one. Anyways, aside from that, the lampposts are going in perfectly the same as they always have just four blocks high direct slab going inwards towards the gravel path facing each other lanterns like this just make sure that this one is one further behind and so is the wall now about these walls uh, we're gonna extend this one first so let me see just how this wall extends uh, it's just going to go uh, one diagonal backwards like this, and then another, and that's going to extend for a long ass time. Pardon my French. Just going backwards a long way. I'd say... Yeah, just... Just until you hit there, and then we're going to go two diagonals. Ooh, one sec. One second, guys. Let me just... Let me just finish doing this wall, and then I'll see. Because these screenshots are confusing. 
that confusing me very much. Yeah, this is correct. So why isn't it actually correct? Um, no, no. Wait. Wait, so is the wall here just going over the ground? It is. So... Okay, hold on guys, clearly something's gone wrong here. Could you believe it guys, my completed build doesn't have this circle the way that it should. So I've done it right this time round, I just didn't the first time around. That's going to make things a lot more difficult to properly look at. Oh well, I just hope that I'll be able to work with a base that is incorrect. Leave that wall for, for now while we temporarily place a tree. And that's gonna go from this lamppost count one, two, three, go back one tree. Real quick, just like that. I'm gonna place grass on this before all of this uh, grows grass on it like that. So now I know where the generator's going. And from the generator, I can tell where the rest of the wall is going. So actually, we should put the generator in then. Then that'll make things easier. So for the generator, we're basically going to need the same things that we did for the other generator over there. It's the exact same thing. So smooth stone slabs, smooth stone. But not the lime terracotta. That's the only difference. This one's purple. So take purple concrete or terracotta based on preference. And from this tree that we just placed, we're going to leave a one block gap. And then we're going to build the base for our generator, which as a reminder, is four blocks with two like this. So basically, we're going to build the two diagonal off of this tree. And then we're going to go diagonal, make four. Diagonal back, make the other two. Diagonal back, make four. So we just have it looking like this. And then gonna build smooth stone on top of that smooth stone on the roof top of it not really a roof because it's not house and then third layer just got smooth stone slabs just like that and we're gonna put the exact same decorations as we did on the other one on this one so birch sign iron frame polish box on button or stone button Polish black stone button goes there, the sign goes there, and the end frame goes there. And also place in whatever it is that you're putting in the item frame, which for me, for literally no reason whatsoever, is a lever. Let's grab our wood back now because we're going to need it. Now from this generator, I can tell where the, this back wall is going to go. So extend one off of this generator and then we're going to do our two corner diagonals like this and then oh boy this, is, this really went wrong huh we're going to go another diagonal and extend that forward like that so it's looking like this and yes it, it is touching the gravel and it was doing that in my screenshot so if you don't want it to do that, just extend it a further one backwards, though. But for now, we're going to have to leave it like that, because that's what it was like in the screenshots. So that's probably... In fact, no, no. I'm going to I'm gonna fix this just a little bit. So I'm going to extend this wall one block further backwards. And then build the, two, the diagonals going like this. So then, now it's looking like that. Because otherwise there would, I just realized there would be a lamppost on the gravel. And that's not where it goes. Now as for this wall, this one's a lot simpler. We're going to go diagonal like this. From, so we're in line with a lamppost like that. 
and then we're gonna go diagonal the same way and build it all across one and then we're gonna go diagonal once more and that's either two or three long so make it two long now and I can't see exactly how long it is because there's a tree going here from this diagonal you can see just like that that tree also shows where our next lamp posts are going so from this tree go diagonal towards the gravel like that and then there's going to be a lamp post and the next one is going just four blocks away so one two three four like that and of course they're facing each other like that so that shows our gravel path here is going to be going just like this four blocks wide like that and that messes with the path a little and that's probably how I ended up with the weird looking circle that I have in fact, yeah, now I can see what I did. I came back to this, forgetting what I just did, and I was like, oh, this looks weird. I'm just going to have to... Yeah, there you go, that's fine. Just like that. So that's what I actually went and did. Um, I'm going to go back and remedy that just now. I mean, if you guys want, you could keep it like that, and that's... That means you don't have to extend that wall like I just had to. And it also means your gravel path will be looking a little less weird. Now, anyways, there's two cars in this location. But right now we only have the space to build one of them. And it's going to be a little difficult to build because it's on its side rather than... Um, rather than being face down. I mean, the way that cars normally are faced. Oh, I'm failing because I'm getting an aneurysm from trying to build this area. This whole map, actually. Uh, you could skip this part if you don't want cars littered around the spot, but these are the only two cars in the build. Uh, I just placed the start of it this is also going to be like this is also definitely going to take a while to explain so just skip ahead if you're not interested in making a car so place go to this part of the generator where i put the lever two blocks and gray concrete like that so place you need gray concrete jungle planks and spruce planks uh the jungle planks and spruce planks are interchangeable all you need with them is just a random pattern so extend the extend forwards like this once you've made that. So it's looking like that. Then go diagonal towards you. And then just placing a bunch of random spruce and jungle like that, making these two grey concrete. So you've got a part looking like this. Now for this side of the car, we're gonna um we're gonna basically just on that part there we're gonna make some more just like that I don't know how I'm failing to explain this so only on this part we're gonna build more next we're gonna need to take out uh, we could take two stone buttons for these two tires there but we're also gonna need jungle and spruce trap doors and we're going to place jungle trapdoor there, spruce trapdoor there, spruce trapdoor there. So on that part, just, and this part, just place spruce where you have spruce wood and jungle where you have jungle wood. On top of the grey tyres, place whatever you want. Now we're going to need glass pane. And you, you place a trapdoor here first. And then place two glass panes there. And then three there. So if this is making any sense. And then just place trapdoors randomly on top of the glass. Just like that. And also place one in the middle of here, just like that. 
And this is your completely destroyed car. Now, if you want, you could, like, grab some item frames for the headlights and backlights. And place them here, like that. And there, like that. Then just take some white concrete and red concrete. Either or. But basically what I did was put white on the ones at the front of the car and red on the ones at the back of the car. So like that, that's your ruined car. And the next one, we will build the, um, the path going this way. Because the car is on it before we focus on that car. And that is going to be 12 blocks long. I'm pretty sure that's counting from the lampposts. We'll know, because this part is a big test to see if everything lines up. So, 12 blocks. This is one, because it's on the lamppost. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, take that whole 4 block wide area of gravel and make it 12 long. Just like that. And then, you fill, fill this in. Uh, we may as well make the other circle as well. So, let me see how that's going. Okay. So, it's going the same way as this circle. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Oh, whatever. What the, cir the circle part of this path is going. So, make another four. And then break this block so it's facing that way. And that makes your five for the circle. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Like that. And once we've done that, we'll fill in the, all of this that we've just made with gravel. Uh, we'll build the car, some trees, the walls. And there's a house going here, and when we've done the house here, we'll know whether this all adds up or not. So the house that goes here is kind of a test to see if our, if our proportions have been correct for this tutorial. And if the proportions aren't correct for you when you've done it, but they are correct for me, then that means that um, you should probably go back in the tutorial at some point and see where you went wrong. That's not important now because we've not done it yet, but just fill in all this with gravel and then I'll get back to you. Right, guys, wait. There's been a bit of an error in the tutorial. Sorry, I'm sorry about this and I sincerely hope you haven't filled in this gravel because you might have a bit more work to do if you have. But um, th this path, it's actually supposed to be one block further along. So uh, but what I mean by that is, like, watch this, watch this, watch this. So doing this. So I'm just filling that in like that, and then punching it out on this side. And I'll show you. I'll show you why it's like that. I'll show you why it is. Why I'm doing this exactly. The re the reason is like because I ne we need it to add up with this cost dirt here. It's gonna connect, and it isn't gonna connect with the way that I've just done it there because I did it all wrong because I'm dumb. So don't don't do what I've just told you to do. Instead, do it but one block further along. So I'm just gonna like show you guys me amending that right here. Just like I have to move this gravel along like this. I've got to destroy this layer of gravel. Uh, yeah, that looks right. That's what it's like in the screenshot, right? One sec. Let me let me just quickly. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's like in the screenshot. Just 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 cause guys like. I I made a I made a small miscalculation because this map confuses me so much. I just just like it's it's fine. Now now that now that this is being amended, it's fine. Just try not to get confused when you're moving things along. Otherwise, that'll only cause more problems. And also, yeah, I I am gonna fix this uh, headlight that I just accidentally re deleted. There we go. So yeah yeah, it should actually be looking more like this that path. And also this wall as well. This wall needs extended over. This this wood needs extended over. That log there that I told you to place that needs extended forward. This entire wall here needs extended forward like that. 
And just one last thing to extend forward for me real quick, this lamppost. I don't know what was going over me when I said that these two lampposts aren't aligned. I must have been like getting blurry vision. But these two lampposts are in fact aligned with each other like that. So this is actually what it should be looking like. As you can see, if we go over, is this coaster going to add up? Yes, it is. And you, you'll probably see why that's important more as we go further into the tutorial. But yeah, yeah, that's all done. Now we just have to fill in this gravel circle. Then I'll show you guys how to do a few more things here. Right, so as you can see, this gravel circle is complete now. Um, it, the house that we're going to put here might line up. I'll worry about that later. If I've made another mistake, then you'll, ju you'll just have to forgive me. I was making a lot of mistakes in this forest tutorial because... This is the hardest map. I promise you I won't screw things up as badly as I have in this tutorial with any other map aside from maybe chapter 12. I don't know, I'll have to see. But this map is just so confusing. Now, now that that's out of the way though, um, let's, let's get onto the decorations around this place. First thing we've got to do is put a car. Uh, so get some grey concrete, lime wool and green wool. This is the second car that's going in forest and the last of the two. So go to these two lamp posts here leading to that circle we've just made. See? They get in line with them. Go to this one on the left. So this side's lantern. Go there. And then walk one. And then two. Then we're going to place either lime or green wool. And then place two uh, more uh, going off of that side of it so it's looking like this. Right? Basically, we're going to alternate between lime wool and green wool to make the car look rusted or something. I, I thought that would be a nice way to depict that because this car and the other one are very old and broken in this map. Uh, if you didn't know what I just did there, it's, it's the same way I always make cars. Just put two grey concrete either side there. Extend forward by another two blocks, then two grey concrete, gonna play some lime or green, doesn't matter, and then green and lime will in front of it like that. That's the base of our car, that's what the base of the car is gonna look like. Now, as usual, we're just gonna grab some uh, green and lime will place it on top of the back tyres like this, so it's looking like that now. Next thing we're gonna need to do is replace our lime and green wool with lime and green carpet. And you'll see why we're doing that. It's going to make the car look pretty nice. Well, as nice as it can get for a rusted car. We're going to place glass pane like this. So, as you can see, glass pane is just going around bordering this middle block here, which we're going to place carpet on top of. Make sure the carpet is the same colour as the block underneath it. So, this is green wool. It's getting green carpet on top. These two lime are getting lime on top. As you can see, just like that. And place carpet on top of every single block, including the tires. Um, for the tires, just place any color you want, just like that. And we're gonna we're gonna place some uh, wool carpet on top of the glass panes and the center, just like this. And as you can see, once I place in this final bit of carpet, you get um, a car shape. Look, it looks pretty neat. If I'd if I'd say. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab some stone buttons and just place them on every tire just to, you know, make it look more like car tires. Now we're going to need some item frames. Let's grab them. Item frames. And we're going to get some white and red concrete. Uh, you probably remember this from that other car behind us. White concrete's going on the front of the car and red concrete's going on the back of the car. That just creates some headlights. And final thing you could do if you want is add a license plate. Um, since this car is like rusted and broke, I used a dark oak sign and just like let's put something random on the on the E. There, the license plate for this car is E. So yeah, yeah, looking like this. It's a pretty neat car. And now that we've done that, we can uh, continue extending the walls a bit. Yeah. Now. Um, First thing we're going to do is take this wall and go diagonal like this. So we're doing another diagonal and now we're kind of like touching this tree stump diagonally. Then we're going to go forward by one, two, three, four, five blocks. So no, this is one, so four blocks even. One, two, three, four. 
and build those. And there's going to be a tree stump going here. One second. Uh, I think we'll leave this wall here for now. Because we should probably go back to this wall and really start to make progress on it. All we're going to do uh, to start off is just like extend this by another one so it's looking like this. Really simple. And then go diagonally off of that towards the gravel circle. Boom. This is where we're going to place another lamppost. And I'm sure you know how to make them by now. Just let make sure it's facing this way. We're going to leave a gap of five blocks in between this wall and the next one. So one, two, three, four, five blocks of walking space. And then this sixth block is going to have the wall begin on it. Um, that wall is going to extend. Let me get a look. Uh, just uh, extend it by like I'd say three blocks for now. Let's come over to this car so we can get a better idea on where the walls go in now. Line ourselves up with this back tire here. Um, two blocks away so it's looking like this. There's going to be a stump going here like that. Yeah. And by that stump this is a part of the wall. So make, th make these walls connect kind of like this or like that. Make it connect however you like, because these walls don't have to be exact. They just have to border the place nicely like this. So, as you can see, the stump is going here like this. And now we're going to bring uh, this part of the wall. Um, I'd say that's going... One second, I need to... Once again, as usual, I need to get a good, nice look at what's going on. I think... We're going to bring it to this tire. So that's four blocks. Here, like that. Going up to this tire. I'll, I'll go over this later if it's wrong. I don't think it is. And then we're going to go diagonal closer towards the gravel. Like this. With two blocks. Another diagonal outwards. Just one block. Then we're going to go back inwards with a diagonal. And then in again. Like that. And then in again, and this is going to be two blocks going that way, like that. And then we'll do just just one more diagonal and extend it back a little. And this is going to be the path to like uh, a place with a few small houses, just 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 like that. Now um, this wall here, I need to figure out: is this wall ending behind this tree or by it? That shouldn't be difficult for me to find out. And. Uh, it wasn't. Right, so we're going to extend this another two blocks. One, two. Like this. So now our wall's going to look like that and extend one block out from the tree. Now we're going to do a diagonal towards this side of the wall. It's going to... These two... The, this wall is going to completely connect to over here once we're done with it. Uh, we're going to do another diagonal like that. And we're going to do another one two blocks long. Um, that's all I can see because the house that we're going to put here is blocking it in the screenshot. Let me just get a good look. Um, it looks like, from what I can see, this is where the wall is ending. So just let's just uh, change this later if it's wrong, but just connect the two like this. Connect these two walls. Just um, a bit like that, yeah. So now we've got the place looking like this. If this is wrong, then we'll go over it. Not a problem. Now, what we've got to do here is the main attraction right now, which is the house. Uh, just to show you, may as well... Uh, no, 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 we'll do that later. I already know it adds up. So, that's fine. We can do the house. So, for the house, we're going to need some spruce stairs. So, let me grab them. Going to need some spruce uh, planks or slabs. I think I'll go with planks. I'm pretty sure we don't actually need slabs. I don't recall. Just get some spruce planks, spruce stairs. Oh, normal oak wood if you don't want to see the log texture on some sides, like me. And we're going to need a few more things, and that's going to require me cleaning my inventory a little for now. So, sorry, let me just throw away a few things. And we're going to need a dark oak door. Like that. We're going to need some spruce fence. Not dark oak. Spruce fence. And only one more thing, actually, we need. And that's going to be... Once I throw away this cost, uh, some prismarine stairs. Prismarine brick stairs, to be specific. Prismarine brick stairs, like that. 
And now this house is gonna begin. Um, let's go to this part of the circle here. So this very edge. We're gonna go from that. Right, so that's four blocks. So yeah, we're gonna go to this corner of it and then inwards by one. And then we're gonna go backwards up to this second block here. So, to recap, go here, go to the left one, and then go backwards, one, two, three, four, that's where your first stair's going, and then one, two, three, we're just going to extend it towards that way with, by another two, making it three blocks long. Going to place some upside down stairs uh, behind them, and then stairs on top of them, just so it's looking a bit like this right now. Then we're going to take some spruce planks go behind them, extend one outwards either side so it's now five blocks long and this should give us a five by six area to work with so let's extend this back and see if that's the case one two three four five six perfect this works perfectly well does it um I don't I don't I'm not sure if that's uh, what I'd call perfect think it might be a little bit wrong just here but keep in mind either I'm my map right now is a little bit different I'll just I'll see okay that's what I'll do I'll see for you guys and I'll check back um, just don't worry about the problem that I'm having you shouldn't have it what should be going on for you is this house where let me just uh, connect all the borders like this this house for you should be perfectly connected to this back wall but mine is off by a block so I have done something wrong either that or I've told you to place the house somewhere incorrect which I don't think I have no I haven't so I think I think on my end this uh, place might be extended one too much but it shouldn't be for you I don't think I'll investigate this and then uh, and then I'll see. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I have actually done exact exactly the problem that I said I'd done. I've extended this one um, too far that way. So I don't know if I gave you the same instructions, but um, if I did, apologies. Really, I'm I'm I really screwed up this part of the map when it came to making the tutorial. So let me just fix that by extending it backwards by one it should um, really be looking like this I think yeah so I'm so I'm really sorry about this I hope you aren't getting annoyed by the amount of times that we have to go back over mistakes but that should be the last one you just have to uh, extend this house the same the same way and then it should as you can see it is on my end now connect like that and that is now perfect okay brilliant we can continue so what we're gonna want to do now is take our spruce fence just so we don't forget to do this place one here place one here oh and I'm sorry I forgot to say in all the corners of this five by six space um, just place the spruce planks going down like this I forgot to say that I was doing that but yeah this we're gonna place spruce fence here just to remind ourselves not to put oak wood there and then we're going to place oak wood coming off of this wall towards the spruce fence and connecting it like that. Going to do that again on this side and there we go. Now here we're just going to make them go inwards like this. We're going to place our dark oak door. It won't face that way. It'll face this way. So here's where the doors go in. So make sure you've got the fences here rather than placing the wood here. So. We're gonna extend this up now by another three blocks. Oh, oh, there's a back wall as well. Make sure your back wall is in grass. Make sure you put that back wall in there. But yeah, like I just said, we're gonna extend that up three blocks. So one, two, three. And that's gonna go around the whole house. Just three blocks high, looking like this. Let me just um, finish this. like that and like that 
the wood on either side should be facing like it is on my end just to like make it that bit more game accurate now the roof it's nice and easy place two blocks of spruce fence above where the door is and do the same thing at the back so like this oh we might need some prismarine brick slab guys uh, real quick so let me just throw some of these away we don't need that anymore we will need that later but it's quite a bit later um, prismarine brick slabs where's that that's here just to place prismarine brick slabs and connect the two spruce fences like this and then either side uh, if you'll remember if you remember what we did with the watchtower we're just doing that again with the roof um, ignore the fact that I'm missing the watchtower and a few other things here um, they'll pop back back into existence uh, in a bit uh, there's, there's there's reason for why they're missing right now they'll, don't worry about it you should still have them so yeah just just worry about this place we're building right now don't worry about what's going on in the background that isn't important I didn't make any major changes I just tried to like save time now this should be the house and what it looks like when it's completed with the roof looking like that with prismarine brick stairs and slabs once we've done that I'm gonna just quickly grab back a few things namely the grass blocks the dirt the uh, the wood oak log and the diorite slab for the lamp posts we're gonna need more of them I'm gonna grab the core dirt as well we'll need that in a minute but we also need to make the interior of this uh, house which is very very small as you can see we go in it's just a free by free space all we need is oak stairs so let's get some we're gonna place an oak stair in that corner oak stair in this corner right by the door and then another one to make two blocks wide two tables like that now face face this right side and punch out the center block at the bottom there like that just to be a space you can crawl out of the house and then you'll turn up here on the other side just like that now the last bit of wall we've got to make for this area is just connecting this up and that's what we're gonna do now once I've placed a few more things here like the trees so let me just uh, get a real quick look because there's a tree going by here um, yeah I can see where that's going so come to this very edge of the circle here and then go count onto the grass by the side of the house one two three once you're on that third block go to the right by one and place the stump there pause if you can't see exactly where that is because if you pause you'll be able to get a nice good look just like that and then from that we'll be placing our lamp post just off of this very edge of the circle you know how to make lamp posts four blocks high with a diorite wall diorite slabs and the lantern facing that way of course we're going to leave our four block gap like that one two three four second lantern facing towards the other one like that now this is where we're going to take our coarse dirt and connect it to that path there that we made at the very start of the tutorial so we're going to just uh, break all of these and replace it all with coarse dirt and as you can see that perfectly perfectly adds up now well not perfectly because it's four blocks long if it were three blocks long it would perfectly line up but it lines up how we want it to is what I'm talking about and if I didn't come and amend that mistake earlier then it wouldn't have added it like that and then we'd have we'd be in a bit of a bad situation but yeah that's that now we just have to complete the rest of this area by the cost dirt path and we should be good to go so I can see right now a little bit of what I've got to do but I kind of need to go a bit further ahead in my screenshots in order to get a really nice look ah oh, I've just saw that I've just saw that guys something you could do with these cars um, just to make them look a bit more rusted and broken and old is instead uh, use some brown stained glass in order to uh, make the windows of the car 
as you can see that makes it look a lot more like old and broke and bad make basically makes it look like it's in terrible condition which is exactly what we want because it is in terrible condition just just a real quick uh, thing now we can actually get onto this place in a second so yeah we're gonna go back diagonally from this here so you remember this wall that we got to work on at the start we're gonna go back to that and we're gonna go diagonally to line it up with this block we had there that's gonna extend for two blocks then we're gonna go diagonally backwards again and then we're gonna go forwards again by um, Two, or are we gonna leave that? One second. No, no. Got it. I've got to find the good screenshots to use. Just need to. Okay, good. So um, looks like we're actually not gonna be doing what I said. We're gonna be extending this by three blocks. So it'll actually be looking like that. And then we're gonna go diagonally backwards now for two blocks. And that should, no, it shouldn't. Once we've done this, it will line up with the lamppost. We're going to go diagonally forwards again for two blocks. And that diagonally lines up with the lamppost. That's what it should do. Now we're going to go diagonally backwards again with one. Diagonally backwards again, make that two blocks long like this. And finally, we're going to go diagonally backwards just once more. And that's going to extend back for a bit. And that's going to be our pathway to the next place we'll build once we're done. We have this little area here. So uh, we're just going to place the rest of the trees. There isn't actually that many, if any, trees that we have to be placing here. I think, I've or I, think I might have already placed them all for you. Yeah, I have. Isn't that efficient? So all that we actually have to do is just take some dark oak wood. And if you'll remember over there, there was a fallen stump. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna make another one of them, but this one's slightly bigger So to start we're gonna come to this point where it sticks out the most This of this wall, so that's just right here And then we're gonna go count two blocks away from it one two and then these two blocks at the end of this part of the path we're gonna place uh, some dark oak wood and we're gonna extend those two blocks backwards like that Sorry about that. Anyways, moving swiftly along with the tutorial, we're going to take these two blocks we just made and extend them backwards one. So we've got a two by two. And then we're going to extend upwards just like that so that we have a two by two by two. Next, we're going to take this two by two by two and extend this part backwards by two. <laughs> one, two, one, two. <laughs> just like that. And then we're going to... Um, Come here and extend this by three, one, two, three. One, two, three, to the side like that. And then one, two, also like that. So now it's looking like this. Finally, we're gonna go to the, this part and build another two so that it's looking like this now. And that's this uh, log thingy done. Let me just uh, go around this place and check to see if there are any more trees that I have to place down before we go and move on to the next area. But you know, I uh, don't think that there is. Hmm. What the hell? Come on, one sec. The rest of the screenshots haven't loaded, guys. Oh boy, my iPad's having Wi-Fi issues, Google Drive is... Oh my goodness, this is what happens when you have to take so many screenshots of a Mac. Oh my goodness, right. I'm pretty sure we're not missing any trees. Okay, I can see here. We are not missing any trees. Ha ha. Take that, trees. Now, anyways... We can um, now move on to this place we're going to make next. And this is going to be a... Um, it's going to be a place 
with a bunch of houses. Kind of like the tiniest village you've ever seen, because there were only four houses. But anyways, we're going to, uh... One second. My notes we said again. <laughs> As well. Um, nine blocks. Nine blocks we're going to take this. So, take this corner here. One, two, three, four. Leaving that crab hole. So that is one, I'm pretty sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just like that. Destroy this whole place. And replace it all with gravel. Just like this. Filling it all in. And then we're gonna, once we've done this, we are gonna place some lamp posts again. Really easy to do. Yeah, because we've been doing that this whole tutorial now. Lamp post there, lamp post there, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, diorite, 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 a lantern and a lantern. And once that's done, we're gonna uh, take uh, this here. Yeah, this wall here, and we're gonna extend that. I think just before, to just before the end of this path. That's about right. Uh, this, this here too, um, I think this goes diagonally backwards one at some point because I can see a tree. One second. Oh, goodness, I need to scroll through all of those again. Yeah, it does. Um, it goes backwards precisely. So the lanterns are going here. From what I'm, from what I'm aware of, the lanterns are going here. So, uh, but yeah, we're gonna go two away from the end of the path on this side, rather than one away like it is on this side. And we're gonna go diagonally backwards, and. One, two, three, one, two, three. Like that. There's gonna be a tree going somewhere around there, but we'll worry about that later. As for now, we can uh, build the path that the houses are going on. Let me just, um. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. So the land. The lamp posts here, once again going either side of the path. One, two, three, four, high. Exactly the same as the lamp posts we just made, going in exactly the same places, just a little further back. So we'll have a little walkway like this, leading into the world's tiniest village. Then we're going to take another four and extend another one to the right. So that is behind this lamppost. And that's going to be our basis for what is not actually going to be a gravel circle. Instead, it's going to be a long gravel path. So we're going to go one, two, like this, going diagonally, going like uh, adding an extra one either side each time. And then a third, like this. Yeah. So that's so counting from here, we're gonna go one, which is that, and then two. This is gonna be the length of the place. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna start counting again. Uh, one second, real quick, guys. Let me see. The screenshot that I took specifically so I could see how long this place is gonna be. Oh my god, where did I, when did I take this? Oh, I swear I did. Um, it's simple. I just need to figure out the uh, specific proportions of a specific part. Okay. So, after we've counted five from here, 
So like I said, one, two, we're counting from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we should have destroyed so far here. And then we're going to destroy an additional six. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, taking us up to thirteen. After that, destroy another five. So that'll take us from thirteen to, uh, come on, basic math, thirteen. 18, so 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 long, and once we've made it 18 long, we're going to, uh, one sec, I'm, I'm having to go all over the place with these screenshots, let me just see this back here real quick, uh, yeah, after we counted 18, we're going to go another one. So this is the length. Then we're going to go diagonal. Diagonal like that again. And then diagonal again. So that's three diagonals. And we're going to count one, two, three. Then we go diagonal, diagonal, diagonal backwards. And we should connect all the way back like that. And if we've counted correctly, then this will be just enough space to put all the houses that are going to go here. So take all of this and fill it all in with gravel. And I'll see you guys once I have done that.